What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II video here today on the channel. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at something that was spotted within the reveal trailer that may change around how the game itself might be played come November in terms of not necessarily breaking things, but something that adds to the playstyle that we haven't seen in an overall sense in the Call of Duty franchise in quite some time. So we're going to be talking about this, the return of the bayonet in Call of Duty World War II. Now, of course, I did say that we didn't see it really for quite some time, but it was in Black Ops 3 exclusively exclusively on the NX Shadow Claw, but throwing that out of the way, a DLC weapon that still not many people necessarily I see use the bayonet on it, and it's not applied to a general perspective in how the game is played. We last saw this in World at War. Now, back in the last version of the game that we saw with this, that being once again, World at War, it offered 135 damage in multiplayer and 200 damage in single player. So it was a guaranteed one hit kill, no matter how you went about it. It was something that would grant you that melee kill, but with a little bit of a distinction between it because this offered then a further distance in the melee range obviously because your weapon is an added one or two feet from your shoulders and per se your range in which you can swing your arms to melee so this offers a little bit more of an increased melee range and its sole purpose in equipping this was to do as such now it wasn't available on all weapons it was available on the m1 garand the springfield the arasaka the mosin nugget the car 98k the type 99 the m1897 trench gun and the m1a1 carbine or carbine now if i were to guess it's probably gonna be the same way that it works here at this, but at the very end of the trailer, you can see a couple of flashes of imagery. And this is actually where it's spotted. I'll toss the image up on screen right now for you guys, but you can clearly see that the rifle here has the designation of the bayonets on the end of it. And it's something that is plain as day right there, but only for a split second in a trailer because of not only how fast this scene goes by and also the lens flares, but it is right there in plain view. And we can see it here attached via the single player. And it's more than likely based off of this going to become something that is a viable option as well for use in multiplayer, but that's something that we don't have any details on just yet other than assumption. But confirmation aside that we see it in the campaign, once again, I would pretty much expect it to be the same exact thing here in terms of offering a little bit of an increase in terms of the melee distance, perhaps not the iconic and meme-worthy Commando Pro lunge that we've seen in, say, Modern Warfare 2, probably not that range of a melee, but once again, an added maybe in-game one or two feet here with it to allow a one-hit melee melee kill with this attached. Now, additionally, I wouldn't be surprised if this then offers the distinction in the Creator class setup where you have to allocate one specific section of, say, a pick 10 to this in which it has to then count towards that. I would not be surprised because it's almost as if adding another attachment to your weapon, which you physically do attach this onto your weapon. So it would make sense that it would then kind of punish you in that regard where it's an attachment used, but it also gives you that increased melee range here as well. So it'd be interesting to see how that one works works out. But as for the return to the authentic bayonet returning in the World War II era, it seems like this fits perfectly and we've already seen now a glimpse of it just for a split second in the reveal trailer. So I'm very much so looking forward to it. The bayonet was pretty fun to play around with in World at War, but with some of the broken intricacies of how that worked and everything back then, it'll be nice to see this polished up and given not only in more high definition graphics, but also hopefully in a more stable and consistent mannerism as well. But all that said and out of the way, I just want to let you guys know about this because I personally didn't catch this. I saw a Reddit post probably about a week back or so and I forgot to bring it up here on the channel as of recently, but then whenever I was going through and taking a look frame by frame once again at the trailer, spotted it once again there, jogging the memory, all that good stuff. So I wanted to share this with you guys because I don't think that I've seen too many people talk about this and cover it too much because this very well may change how the melee system works in some fashions and some regards come November in maybe single player and or multiplayer, but thought it was interesting and worth a share. So that said, let me know what you guys think down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys looking forward to the Bayonet returning in Call of Duty World War II, or are you guys not necessarily looking forward to it? Are you guys not looking forward to the extra added range for melees? Whatever it may be, feel free to drop it down there in the comment section down below. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Call of Duty World War II. And of course, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected right here outside of YouTube. Practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said, now the way, hopefully you guys are having a great day. I will see you guys later. My name is Nicole Espresso. Take care and peace.